Okay. I love this one. I have um, the spacers to match this. It's beautiful. I wish I could find the gold one. Absolutely stunning, stunning ring. Very pretty, very heavy. Oops, I dropped it. The purple on it is just magnificent. Love it. I'm all about purple also, if you could tell. I do have quite a few purple rings. Um, speaking of purple rings, I might as well get the biggest of purple rings. This baby. I have the pendant in this, and I've yet to get the earrings. And I probably won't be able to find them now because they're probably long gone. But to tell you the truth, I don't know if I would have worn the earrings to match this because they're rather big. And I don't do well with big earrings. Big rings, yes, but big earrings get caught in my hair and um, I end up losing them. Okay, this one is another big chunky ring the big stone. It's a very, very light green. I thought it was a light green amethyst, but I got that wrong last time I explained it as that. So I don't remember the name of it, but it's beautiful and it's old. And there we go. We've got one almost the same in the purple amethyst but it's got cz's around it love it another very chunky ring very gorgeous and in a nice big size that i really really love oh let me see if i can find the third big one like that this is the one that's in the opal so heavy so very heavy i bought this off of a very sweet girl that was in Mississauga and she sent it to Hamilton with her cousin and she only charged me $25 for this and forever grateful because I love this ring. Beautiful ring. I think it's got marcasites around it. Okay, um, we'll just keep going. What do we go to now? Three wishes ring. Starting in on the pearls. I have the necklace that matches for this, but I've put it in a very safe spot and I cannot find it. But I do have it. I've had it for years. I absolutely love this necklace and these earrings. Beautiful ring. I ended up getting this at the outlet. They only had the tiniest of size left and it was on sale for a crazy good price and I had to buy it even though I'm going to use it as a pinky ring. The one thing I like about the outlet, they have the greatest sales when it comes to rings, but it's usually only the tiny rings that are left along with this beautiful one. I also got this in a video, and it's pinky ring size, but I think the rings were like $12. So, yes, we had to get them. Beautiful ring, and it does look very nice, even if it's on my pinky. Let me see what else was on that pinky ring sale. If you see me taking rings out... It's not. Okay, this wasn't on the pinky ring sale. This needs a little bit of a polish. But this is a beauty of a ring. I have to give it a wipe because I can't show it to you like that. She's just not shining. There. This is a gorgeous ring. It's two-tone ring with the green stone in the middle. Just a beautiful Christmas ring. I have, I now have the charm that matches this, but I'm still looking for the necklace and the earrings. 
gorgeous, gorgeous ring. A favorite for sure. All right. What else do we have? Oh, we found the other daisy ring. So we have that pretty much four piece set. I'll stick that where it belongs. Okay. What am I pulling out? Okay, another crown ring. This was the third one in that pinky ring sale. When I got, I pretty much got three rings for under $40. And this was one of them. The ladies at uh, the outlet are remarkable. And um, this was curbside, shop, curbside shopping. And I so appreciate that. It was definitely a fun, fun day with them. All right, what do we have here? Here's another one that is an absolute beauty. Gorgeous ring. I'm picking out the rings that aren't Pandora and putting them to the side. I guess if you guys want to see them later, I'll uh, do a separate video. This is a stunning set. I love this. I do have the earrings and the pendant to match. How could you not have this as one of your absolute favorites? It's, ah, oh, love it. Stunning. Favorite ring. Okay. Mia Moore. And I am puffy right now, but I'm going to have to show you her. Because, of course, she is amazing. I bought her quite a few years ago. And when I bought this one off of a girl, it was so black like the silver was black the beautiful stone was all scratched up it was such a mess and I was able to restore it and make that stone come back shiny and beautiful and I absolutely love this ring I have um, the clip the Mia Moore clip to go with it which is on my Mickey bracelet Love, love, love this ring. It's a wow ring. And very hard to stick in this ring holder over here. I'm just going to keep grabbing things from the top. Okay, here's another ring that I got from the outlet. And I actually got two of these. I got... I. I bought one from the outlet and I bought one on um, pre-loved and I ended up keeping the one pre-loved but the one from the outlet also had I gave away the one the brand new one from the outlet I didn't know what to do I I had a giveaway and um, I felt awful that they both had the same pearl missing I don't know how many ended up at the outlet with this pearl missing. And um, I, to be honest, I thought all of them had that pearl missing until I've seen some um, other uh, Pandora channels have one with the pearl there. So that one, I felt bad about that, but I don't know. Okay, another favorite ring is this rhodolite ring. I love this. I have other rhodolite stone sets, and this is definitely a favorite. Somebody gave me this ring, and I'll never let it go. I absolutely love it, and it's very, very special to me. Oh, 
Let me try. It's very hard to stick some of these in. That's what I'm not crazy about buying new ring holders. Okay, it's in there. Okay, we're back. I think we're going to move to the next tray. This one's filled, so we're going to go to the third one. I think we're getting close to the end. And of course, we have the birthday balloons to do. And that's rather exciting. But um, let's get through the rest of these smaller rings. Well, I shouldn't say these smaller rings, but these beautiful, beautiful, I love these signature rings. And I would classify the round, the plain round one as a signature ring also. So I'm going to put this with that. I've been looking for the one with the, the um, two-tone in the middle. I want to get that, and I've come across it a few times, but never in the size that I want. And I find that if I don't get the size that the largest size I can find, then I don't end up wearing it very often. That's like this second one of the rose ring. I do wear this a few times for stacking, but not as much as the larger size. And also with the larger size, I find I can stack with them better because you can always put a smaller ring underneath them. Alrighty. I'm just sticking my other rings in one spot here. So I don't show those because they're not Pandora. I do have other ring jewelry boxes, but you know how you end up getting rings stuck in there? And look at this one, it's gotta be shined. For some reason, this fall, everything turned, I just finished cleaning everything and something went through the house and made everything look a little bit yellowish. So I have gone through and I'm trying to clean them up a bit. But you can tell that in this ring here. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous ring. I actually have that one sealed in a, uh, that's never been out of a package. That is right here. You can see how pretty it is. And I'm thinking this is going to be our thousand subscriber giveaway. When we reach a thousand subscribers, and I was hoping to over Christmas, and we still might, we're at 840. So if everybody could give a hand with that and um, share, and spread the word hopefully this will be part of our giveaway and we would have two giveaways this being the thousand subscribers giveaway but we will be having a giveaway with the vlogmas so that would mean that it would be two as a giveaway. And uh, you're not Pandora, so you're over there. All right, we're down to a few. This is also one of my favorite rings, but it's not Pandora. It's Lynx of London. It's a gorgeous silver. And if you don't know Lynx of London, it's probably England's equivalent Tiffany. Love their brand. I have their Sweetie bracelet with, I think about five charms. Love, love, love it. But you go in here because you're not Pandora. Okay, 
Back to Pandora. Here is a gorgeous pearl ring, which I love this. I'm going to stick this in a separate tray just for the pearls and probably the birthday blooms. And this is a pink droplet ring, which I absolutely love this. Out of this whole series, I liked this pink blush one and the blue one, and I haven't found the pink blush one yet. So, I mean the blue one yet, but there's the pink blush one. All right, love, love, love this ring. It's a stunning, stunning pearl ring. I also found this one at the outlet, I believe. It's a beauty. Like, absolutely beautiful ring. Also, very, very wide ring. This one, gorgeous. Somebody offered me the earrings to these the other day. And I'm really thinking about it. But, again, they're very large earrings. And I don't think I'd probably... I probably wouldn't wear them. And with my hair color... They really don't show up, so I'm probably not going to get them. I don't get everything that I see. I am sometimes choosy. Probably my favorite pearl ring. It's simple, it's pretty, and it's so very gorgeous. Love this one. Very pretty. Um, I think this one's called, I could be wrong, but I think this one's called Wanda's Garden Pearl Ring. I could be wrong. It's got the beautiful designs all the way around. Very, very pretty. Love that. Very, very large pearl. Okay. This one's not a pearl, but it's a fabulous stacking one. I love this. It's got pearl essence paint on it. Okay. This baby is massive absolutely gorgeous but massive very 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 pretty ring i bought this in a another um pre-loved um i would almost say a pawn shop i paid way too much money for it and i got outside the door and realized there was a stone missing so I felt very upset about that. That one little stone stopped me from ever coming back there again. So, yeah. I don't know whether they, um, they knew it was missing, but they went out of business very shortly after that. I was disappointed because... I was there quite a bit, and I did buy quite a bit of Pandora from them. This is a favorite. You're not going to see these blue stones in this light, but, man, this is such a pretty, pretty ring. It truly is a gorgeous ring. The way I'm filming right now to put any of these rings on, I'm going to have to twist backwards. And I'm just not going to be able to do that, basically, because I tried that the other day and, wow, my shoulders were pretty sore. But this ring is, ah, oh, it's everything. That ring is absolutely a favorite. If you have a chance to find that on a pre-loved or at a good price, please buy it. Okay, this Pandora ring 
probably means the most to me because this ring was given to me by a very, very, very sweet girl. And she also has a YouTube channel called Nancy Life TV. And she's a very, very good friend of mine. And I'm going to um, put her channel in the description. And we did a um, kind of a challenge one Christmas and we had a fabulous time. We were basically buying each other pre-loved jewelry. And she found this. And I love this. And it's in a nice, big, chunky size. So I'm going to, I can wear this on days when I'm not feeling well. It still fits. And it feels comforting to wear. It's. I, I love that ring. All right. This is another beauty. It was one of the first rings that I found pre-loved next to um, my gorgeous um, one. It is the second ring I found. This was the first Pandora ring I ever found pre-loved. And this was, I think, the second one. And this one was brand new when I found it. So I love, love, love this one. But I'm almost afraid to wear it, even though I've worn it quite a bit. I've worn it a lot less now that I've found out how rare it is. But this is a beauty and I know they've got this one out with the bow in it but I seem to like that one okay this little tag ring I love it's obviously it says love and it's shine I believe it's shine is it shine yeah, I think it's shine, but it's very, very pretty. It's just a sweet little ring. Also bought at the outlet on um, sale because it's tiny, tiny. All right, let's start going through the birthday blooms. I do have them all. So here is January's. Gorgeous, gorgeous garnet. Here is February's beautiful, beautiful amethyst. March. It's a very pretty blue. It's very hard to tell the difference between the June and the blue ones of March but there is a difference when you get down to it these are moonstones and these are aquamarines I know people are gonna go you're wrong but they are these are March, these are June. And yes, I have a few of each. And for stocking and because I have people in the family with those birthstones that also collect Pandora, I pick them up for them just in case. And it seems like every time I do get someone that says I have some birthday blooms for sale and I say okay I buy them it's automatically always the moonstones and you know what I love moonstones I don't mind having more than one okay March let's go on to April I have one April which is the clear May, 
is the beautiful green. June, which is the Moonstones, which Moonstones just make you feel good. So, and they're fabulous for stocking. And I find I need